Welcome to Draw Kids, where anybody can learn to draw. Today we're drawing an awesome sea turtle. So grab your pen, paper, and your markers, and let's draw. Awesome, so here we go drawing our super cool sea turtle. What I'm gonna to do today, which we normally do, I'm starting off with a pencil. Um, the turtle's gonna take up pretty much the whole page. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw two footballs, one here and one down here towards the end. Okay, so kind of start in the middle of the page and let's do a football shape that takes up about three quarters of the page. You could do this very loose, make your hands nice and loose and just do kind of just like an, a football shape. Yeah, we're gonna erase this line later so you can kind of do it a couple times until you get the right size that you want. Perfect. So now we're going to do another football shape kind of on this side, kind of looking that way. This will kind of give us some, some starting points so we can make sure our, our turtle's proportionate. Perfect. While we're here, let's do a, kind of a diagonal line that way. That's one of the turtle's wings. And then maybe about halfway here, let's do another diagonal line to this corner. Just kind of giving us a little bit of groundwork. Perfect. How you looking? Good. So let's move on and I'm going to go ahead and grab my trusty marker. What we're going to do first is we're going to start right here on the eye. And this is kind of on the head. So what our turtle is, is here and it's kind of facing forward just a little bit, kind of swimming up towards this way. So what we're going to do first is start right here with another kind of football shape. So let's do the top part of the football first, like an arc. You see that? And then underneath we'll do the bottom part, but we can kind of underlap right there. So we'll kind of do the bottom part like that. Good. Next we're going to start right here on the turtle's nose. And we're going to come down as a beak and then we're going to curve back up to about right here where the eye is. So right here in the middle, we're going to come down like a beak and do like a curve up to the eye. That's where the back of the mouth is. Perfect. Good. Now coming this way, let's start from the neck. And the neck is going to have a couple of rolls. So starting from the shell, we'll do a little hook, another little hook. Like that. And like that. It kind of has a, a wrinkly neck. Good, from there we're gonna work our way down to the back of the jaw, and we're gonna do kind of like a, just a little bit of a curve to the mouth. Good, now from this part of the mouth, we're gonna do a, a line just doing the bottom part of his mouth. Perfect. All right, so Around his eye, we're going to do an outline. And it doesn't have to be perfect because the turtle's not really that perfect. So I'm just kind of going to use a loose pen and kind of just trace around the eye. It could be a, just barely a little bit jaggedy like that. Good. So inside the eye, we're going to do two shine marks. So two circles. So one a little bit bigger right there in the middle and then a teeny tiny one a little bit closer to the front. Good. Now let's color that eye in. But not coloring in the two little circles we just made. Good. Turtle's starting to come together. All right, so around this top part of the eye, we're going to do like his little scales. So we're just going to do some shapes. Imagine here that we're doing like a little curve, almost like he has a little bit of armor. So just a shape, just like that. Good. Now another one on the back side, a little bit smaller. Good. So we're going to do one just like this. It's on the other side, but since his head is curved, it's going to be a little bit skinnier. So curve. Follow that line and do a little bit skinnier like that. Perfect. So just like that, copy this one, but a little bit skinnier. 
This is going to be the top part of his head. Good. So now we'll do two more down here down by his nose, but let's leave a gap. So it's going to kind of be that same width, like that. But this one's going to be almost like a triangle, like a loose triangle, like that. Good. And then one more behind that. Good. See how it's coming together? All right. So moving ahead, let's do one more scale on the back of his head. This one's going to be a little bit longer. So kind of follow around the eye. Like that. Good. And then on the back side, copy it just a little bit skinnier. We're using our pencil line to kind of make sure that this outside kind of stays in that same football shape. Perfect. So what we'll do now is we'll do the same thing on the bottom of the eye. Again, these don't have to be perfect because he's just a turtle and he just has some scales we're going to make around his eyes. So just go all the way around, kind of however you feel. Good. And let's do one more row starting from here to there. And these can be all different shapes. Perfect. Now we're going to go here and we're going to start the back of his neck. So kind of like this line, we're going to go down to the shell and just kind of curve. Good. So this arm, it actually has a curve in it and goes up. So we're going to go this way and then up. Make a U. Right, so let's come this way, curve it up to the top of the page. Good, now this is going to be a curve. Let's curve it to about halfway down. So curve to about halfway. Good. And let's do one more curve like that, just a little bit shorter. There. Perfect. Now this one's just going to curve right back to the turtle shell. The turtle shell that we didn't do yet. <laughs> Awesome. Next, we're going to do the back of his collar. This is kind of the front part of the shell. So this is going to be a curve. So starting from this, this fin, we're going to curve almost to where this other fake fin is that we started. So curve like that. Up and over. So it's like a soup. Good. Now while we're here, we have our fake line that goes this way. We're going to do something funky. So we're going to start a little bit below. We're going to go on one side of our fake line and then we're going to come around to the other side of our fake line. So starting from here, just below the shell, we're going to curve up on one side of our line. We're going to go back to the other side of our line like that. Awesome. So our turtle fin has a little bit of a width to it. So we'll start from here and we're going to go up to that line up to that line and follow this one around. Kind of leaving a little gap there. So this gap will kind of close, close, close all the way till it gets to the end. And that's going to be on a curve. Perfect. So from this side, we're going to curve this back down to the to the line. So it looks like our, our fin has a little swoop to it. It's kind of a flap. This one's kind of turned. Cool. We're getting there. So next we're going to do the top part of the shell. We're going to take this one up and over and down to the back side here. Actually, let's finish this bottom half of the shell. So this part of the shell that comes through here, we're going to continue through the back to this side all the way through here to the end. So pretend like this line goes through and then we're going to come to here. Good. Now we're going to do the top part of the shell. I kind of don't like this thickness here, so I'm going to make it a little bit taller. So kind of coming up, a little bit taller, and then down to our line over here. Perfect. I'm going to close that off. Good. So the bottom half of the turtle, we're going to start down here a little bit below the neck and we're going to kind of come down to here. I'm going to leave a little gap here because we're going to do the back fin. So starting at about his neck, we're going to curve and bring it down to about right there where my finger is.
good so for this back fin it's just kind of like a little like a little funky circle so let's bring this it's going to be kind of flat on one side and then we'll bring it back up to the body like that let's close off all these lines so his legs not just dangling out there good looks awesome all right so right here we're going to do the lines on the turtle shell we're going to leave a gap here and we're just going to do a tile kind of like these guys but up here on the shell so starting from what would be the middle we're going to do a nice little thin line like that that's for one half now we're going to do the other half same thing going that way good now a tiny little tiny little one And then we're going to kind of continue that same pattern all the way around. Like that. And one more. Good. So across this back, we're going to do three big ones. So let's do three lines. One, two, three. Got it? So let's curve these on and make these into into uh, scales or shell shell pieces. So there's one, two, three. Good. Now covering closing this off, let's do a couple more kind of filling in those gaps. Good. Perfect, perfect. So let's do this last part is doing our our wings. We'll kind of do like this and we'll do little little scales and you just spread them apart and just kind of go all the way up the turtle. They could be different sizes. They don't have to be perfect. Just take them all the way to the top. And down the back. Perfect, so same on this, but on this side, you gotta kind of stay on the front side of that fin, so like that. We'll follow it up to the end. Awesome. So there's our sea turtle. Let's color. Alright, so there is our turtle. Um, here's the colors that I use. I kind of just picked something and kind of went with it. Uh, normally when I do colors, I like to start from the lightest color to the darkest color. So as you're coming forward, you're doing the darker colors. Um, I also like to do this. I like to pick my colors ahead of time so I'm not always hunting for them. So for the lighter colors, I kind of went with these. I kind of pick them out ahead of time. So I go light and then as I layer, I go up into the darker colors. Same thing with the other side, these are kind of out of order, but normally when I start with the browns, I start with the, the lightest, then kind of work my way up to the darkest. So those are tricks that I used. Hope you guys had fun. We'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with us, drawing an awesome sea turtle. If you had fun, don't forget to subscribe, and you can come back and draw more with us here on Draw Kids. Bye!